What's up, YouTube? This one I'm doing share today with another sealed only versus the Yu Gi Oh! anime. I'm gonna guess Jinzo and the uh, and this guy. I'll start with two face, three face downs. And I'll set one monster defense. Then in my turn, of course, after Jinzo has activated his Katus spell card, Ectoplasma, and played most of the Mize. Of course, I'll show one. That first. That was just for the fact that on my turn, which I have completely forgotten about. Then Jinzo draws and takes the most of my special ability. He brings it back from the graveyard in attack mode. And then he summons for the emissary of the afterlife in attack mode and he attacks my face down monster which is should all hit on which also be good uh, it should all spell or time card for my deck and add to my hand and I'm going for my fusion Then when he goes to attack his attack me with his uh mouse of mines, I use shell core which stops a direct attack. So he ends his turn again using sacrifice his mouth all demise. Which brings me down to 2400. Then he ends his turn and I draw. I'll play Shadow Fusion, fusing my. Let's see what. Let's see. Experimental. My dragon with my zephyr core. Now I'll go and yeah, I'll go and yeah. My zephyr, my beast, my Squamanta to fuse the summon for my Shadow Winda. At attack mode, since two cards were sent to the graveyard, I could activate their effects. First up, beast. I draw one card. Then Squamenta. I can send one Shadow Monster for my deck to the graveyard, except for Squamenta. And I know. I'll toss out my dragon. And his special ability goes off. Which allows me to destroy one spell track card on the field and I choose Ectoplasm. Then by releasing from my graveyard three dark types. I think she has that three. On oh, no, the three fiends. Of course I don't have the three fiends. So that so I'm gonna take her out because I thought she only had to have three dark types. Okay, there's one card I need to change. I'll have 
my window to attack his uh, emissary of the amp life since it has 1600 he loses 600 and then I will end my turn like I release my shell core which flicks half of 1450 which is Which is 625. Bring on to 2775. And then I end my turn. He brings back his uh, Mouse Still Demise, do a special belly. Then He then tributes Mouse of the Mice for himself in attack mode and no trap cards can be activated while he's on, on the face up on the field. So this goes after my uh Wenda. I play Bug of the Clips, all face up monsters now go face down the fence. And then he ends his turn, my draw. I play Spiritual Clips, removing his himself from the game. Flip summon my Winda, and I have Protect directly for 2400. And then I end my turn. And Jinzu made a comeback. Then Jinzo texts my window. This is you. Yeah, I'm still not used to these cards, even though I've been playing them. I can have target one shadow monster uh, spell trap card in my graveyard and add to my hand. And since I only got that one, it has to return to my hand. Then he attacks. Yeah, he already attacked. So. Yeah. So I'm only with 200 on this one. And he has his turn. My draw. Let's see. Do I have another dark type in here? Or do I go go? There. Two attributes. Fire. Light. Order. Okay. So that one more face down, he brings out his spare collar, ties my face down with his with himself, and then attacks me directly with spare collar. Then he his turn, my draw. I can't do nothing pretty much. He wins this one. I'm actually happy that this that can actually lose. With a, a percentage time. So far I've won with this thing one hundred percent of the time. I'm bringing my my deal out. <laughs> So 
So start this again. Jinzu starts off with his Uh, he plays this lost the device, plays ectoplasma, he uses ectoplasma to inflict damage to me without tagging. My turn. I play Force Burial. I will ditch Wendy. And then her effect goes off. So I can special summon one shadow monster from my deck and face down the fence. And I'll choose my arrow. Now I'll set one card. And I'll set another monster face down. And call it turn. Jinzu brings back Moth Star Demise. Then plays Institute of the Afterlife with his Resurrection Moth Demise. He can go after it. My face, on my face downs, it attacks the arrow, he loses 200 on that one, and then he goes for my other one, which is Falco, he sends the graveyard, so I get to bring back my Wendy, I'll choose to have her face down, and then he is a turn. My draw... I flip summon Wendy. Her says I get to special summon one shit old monster in my deck and face up and face down the fence. And I'll choose my Squimanta and face down. Then I will flip up by Squimanta. Destroy his ectoplasma. Then I will release Ariel for Diabound. Next, I play a Super Prime Station, fusing his monster with my Windy to fusion seven from my Winda. I was gonna get rid of a card. House, what the heck? And take his. Take him directly with all my monsters and ends the door. Now I'm gonna be going against Harrington tomorrow. The fact that I'm out of time. Hope you all enjoyed the duel. And I hope you all have a great day.